TDS just released a brand new tower, the Trapper. Before you say anything, no, they did not copy TDX. They both copied the Spike Factory from BTD6. If you comment TDS copy TDX, I will find you. Anyways, in this video, I'll be showcasing all the stats, uses, and abilities of this tower, then giving my personal ranking of how good it is. So hit that like button and subscribe, and let's get into it. It costs 700 cash to place, and at level 0, it places a trap every 6.5 seconds, which has 15 health, giving it a DPS of 2.31. It can place a max of 5, and has a range of 7. The spikes are also able to affect hidden enemies. At level 1, for a total of 1,150 cash, it now places a trap every 5.5 seconds, which has 25 health, giving it a DPS of 4.55. It can also now place a max of 6 traps. At level 2, for a total of 2,500 cash, the traps now have 40 health, giving it a DPS of 7.27. It can now place a max of 7 traps, and has 9 range. At level 3, for a total of 6,000 cash, it can now place a max of 9 traps, and you can now select for it to throw landmines instead of spikes. The spikes deal 50 damage and can be thrown every 5 seconds, giving it a DPS of 10. The landmines deal 65 damage, can be thrown every 6 seconds, and have an explosion radius of 3. They have a DPS of 10.83. Finally, at level 4, for a total of 13,000 cash, it can place a max of 12 traps and can now select to throw bear traps. The spikes are buffed to deal 60 damage and can be thrown every 4 seconds, giving it a DPS of 15. The landmines now deal 75 damage, can be thrown every 4.5 seconds, have an explosion radius of 4.5, giving them a DPS of 16.67. Also, they now inflict a burn effect. The burning effect deals 6 damage and reduces the defense of enemies by 7.5% every 0.5 seconds. That gives it a DPS of 12, it means it will deal a total of 72 damage. The bear traps deal 100 damage, can be thrown every 5 seconds, and hold enemies in place for 3 seconds. They have a DPS of 20. When using the trapper, it's best to place it at the very back of the map, so that it can place as many traps as possible before enemies reach it. It's best used as a safety net, rather than a main form of DPS. This is because technically it has pretty bad value, with the bear traps only giving it a DPS of 20, resulting in a value of 1.54 DPS per 1k spent. That's pretty low. However, that doesn't mean the tower is actually bad. If you allow your trapper to place the max of 12 bear traps in the back, if a high health enemy slips past your defenses and walks over the trap, the tower will instantly deal 12,000 damage, giving a momentarily 12,000 DPS. That's a value of 92 DPS per 1k spent, which is insane. Because of this, the trapper is a pretty strategic tower. You want to let it get down as many traps as possible, so a good idea is to have one player dedicate their cash to placing trappers in the back while the rest of the team defends the front. That way, for the most of the game, the trapper can place down as many traps as it wants. However, if something scary slips by, the trapper can easily take care of it. When using this tower, I'd recommend placing a mix of bear traps and mines, as they work really well together. The bear traps will hold them in place, letting the burn effect deal the max amount of damage. This will also give it a good mix of crowd and single target DPS, letting it take care of most enemies. It also has a placement limit of 7, meaning you can get a spike pile with a total of 8,000 400 health. That's pretty good, but considering the Fallen King has 150,000 health, this won't do much against it. Because of that, I'd mainly consider this to be an early to mid game tower. 700 cash is cheap enough to get after only one wave, but I wouldn't recommend using it as your only form of early game defense. Its DPS is too low, and it's going to take really long for it to kill anything. Towards the late game, it's actually a pretty good idea to place a trapper within the range of your other towers. This way, when the bear trap stuns the enemy for 3 seconds, your other towers can take advantage of this. The trapper actually currently has the longest stun time out of any tower, which makes it a pretty solid option for support. That makes the tower pretty dang versatile, having good crowd control, single target damage, great stunning, and hidden detection, all for cheap price. I'm gonna rank it as a solid 8 tier. It's much too early for me to know actually how good it is, but I have high hopes for this tower. Let me know in the comments down below what you think, and make sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you enjoyed. Also, consider checking out my Discord. There's a link pinned in the comments. I'll see you guys in the next video.